Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It is Monday, May 10th, 2021. And here's a little bit about me. And I'm on quick lunch break from the day job. And I want to spend today just a short video talking about, I've talked about this before. It's the 10 rules for students and teachers written mostly by sister, sister Karita Kent. And with a little bit of input there by, uh, and popularized by uh, composer John Cage. Just kind of want to go through this again for you and for me, because I sort of think, I think, I think these things, you need to go through them regularly. They're good advice. I can't just have one video about this and, and move on. I got to talk about it and how it relates to me as, as an artist, either recording artist or fine artist today. And I don't know, maybe you might watch this video. You might be able to pull something out of that or change what you're doing and change your philosophy and, uh, and get going. All right. So rule number one, find a place you trust and then try trusting it for a while. I say, so this one here, find a place you trust and then try trusting it for a while. I'm at the point here where for a while, is applicable. Try trusting it for a while, which means don't trust it forever. If it, if it becomes untrustworthy or, or just a burden, you know, for a while, time to end that. Rule number two, general duties as a student, pull everything out of your teacher. Pull everything out of your fellow students. It doesn't really apply to me. I'm not a student anymore. I guess I am sort of, but not, not like a, like, I'm not a student of college or university or anything like that. Uh, rule number three, general duties of a teacher, pull everything out of your students. Am I the teacher today? Am I pulling something out of you? <laughs> Maybe you'll get something out of this. It's, you know, it's like, oh, I've never even seen this before. Wow. These are good. And number four, my one of my guiding principles here, consider everything ex an experiment. That's one of the rules that allowed me to just become, release a lot of recordings and make a lot of different types of paintings. Um, and the recordings have, they've done okay. The paintings, they exist. I think they're unique enough and they will, I think they will find a homes eventually. I believe in the work. Everybody else who sees it seems to like it. It's finding patrons, you know, it's, that's the hard part, especially in the past year. Very difficult. Consider everything an experiment. Um, and we'll come back to this one probably a few times here with the rest of the list. Number, rule number five, be self-disciplined. This means finding someone wise or smart and choosing to follow them. <laughs> to be disciplined is to follow in a good way. To be self-disciplined is to follow in a better way. You know, I'd also like to say maybe that to, to be self-disciplined is to kind of be a leader. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of people out there not disciplined and they're, they're proud of it. They're a big scatter shot. They can't complete anything. They can't, everything has to be buffed to a, an incredible level or it has to be, if I can't make it there, I won't make it anywhere. Or you're thinking about things from 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago, the way things were, or you thought they were, and you can't, you know, move with the times. So yeah, be self-disciplined. I mean, I, why do I make videos? I'm trying to be self-disciplined, trying to have that conversation. Why do I make music all, not all the time, but often enough and release it regularly? trying to be self-disciplined about that. This is something I enjoy. I like doing it. 
I'm addicted to public. I'm mean, fun. I love looking at the industry, seeing how every, music is consumed these days, processes involved. The art world's got a ways to go, <laughs> I think. Who knows? We'll see. One's working out. The other one, I'm working on. Rule number six, nothing is a mistake. There's no win and no fail. There's only make. <sighs> Sometimes you make mistakes, but you always learn from them. You, know, you, tr you should learn from them. This didn't work out. Let's try something different. Circle back to rule number four. Consider everything an experiment. There's no win and no fail. There's a lot of no win, right? And you think you've won and, you know, there's no, there's nobody waiting for you at the finish line. The finish line's kind of empty, lonely. And you have to decide what that, where the finish line is. Is there no finish line? Is it constantly ahead of you? What, what constitutes a win? I think for me, constituting a win would just be regularly working and producing good new work, experimenting. Which leads to rule number seven. The only rule is work. Look how big that is. They're on the page. The only rule is work. And I, I don't know. There's a lot of people, they, they, just, they, they see rule number seven and they just go, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I just want to do the drugs and chase the tail and drink a lot and watch the TV and worry about the Facebook and look at Twitter and uh, waste my life. Well, that's fine. You got less time than you think. The only rule is work. I work a lot, not just the day job, you know, but, but, uh, working on paintings the last few years here, I'm on hiatus as far as paintings are concerned. I'm always thinking about them though. And the recordings, getting that stockpile out, creating new stuff all the time. The only rule is work. Rule number seven. The only rule is work. Be self-disciplined. Consider everything an experiment. You just keep going back. If you work, it will lead to something. It's the people who do all of the work, all of the time, who eventually catch on to things. I know there's somebody out there who's just like, well, I know somebody, they worked really hard and nothing happened for them. Okay. All right. Excuses. <laughs> I don't see anything in excuses. Which rule is the uh, making excuses and giving up? Do you see that anywhere here in the, in the rules? Oh, that's rule number. Give up. Quit. The only rule is work. Rule number eight. Don't try to create and analyze at the same time. There are different processes. Oh, my God. That's brilliant. I've really I've just taken that to heart here in the last several years. I used to, um, in my early recordings, I would hold on to things for like a year, which looking back, uh, you know, that's nearly 20 years ago. It was a bit foolish. Why did I hold on to that for so long? That's the way I was at the time. Learned from it and moved on. So yeah, don't try to create and analyze at the same time. You make something and you just go, oh, I think that was pretty good. Do you want to listen back to it? Nope. Not now. Not now. Right. You see those, uh, I don't know, you see like uh, documentaries or something like that. Or uh, like movies. They're, the band is in the studio and they, you know, lightning strikes or whatever. Should we have, should we listen to that take again? Yes. And they all deem it to be brilliant or whatever. Or you read about that. I, I couldn't operate. I couldn't operate that way. Yes, this is perfect. Just just read up on Steely Dan and that will be 
right? Well, we used we used part of take 57, and then we used a little bit of take 83, and then when we... <laughs> worked for them. Don't try to create and analyze at the same time. They're different processes. Yes. Doesn't mean uh, I'm not going to create today and analyze tomorrow. For me, that's to be self-disciplined. Rule number nine, be happy whenever you can manage it. Enjoy yourself. It's lighter than you think. It's true. Be happy whenever you can manage it. Enjoy yourself. You know, like I get out there in the sun. Last year, it was riding the bicycle. This year, it's learning to play disc golf. It makes me happy. Go out there, get some exercise, get the legs moving, get the arms moving, learn a, a cheap new sport. You know, and I'm not, I'm not interested in becoming great at it. I just want to play. I'm just, it's just play, play, just play, play. I'm just, I'm just want to, I just want your best game. I don't, I don't just sports should be fun. Sports should not be pressure and Even when you're just messing around in a park, it, it should it should just be it should, again. You should be happy whenever you can manage it. I'm thinking outside the arts here, but everything for me, it kind of rule number ten, and this was I think this was John Cage's one. We're breaking all of the rules, even our own rules. And how do we do that? By leaving plenty of room for x quantities. Plenty of room for x quantities. I've always tried to figure that one out. I th that's a bit like consider everything an experiment. That's how I interpret it. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Helpful hints. Always be around. Here I am. You can reach me by email. You can leave nasty comments, which I will ignore and ban. Kick you to the curb. I don't care. I'm self-disciplined. And the only rule is work. Come or go to everything. Always go to classes. They should have handed that out when I started college. Read anything you can get your hands on. Look at movies. Don't look at today's movies. Carefully, often, look at the old movies. It's a lot in there. Save everything. It might come in handy later. Again, that goes back to like the, the Andy Warhol and the philosophy of Andy Warhol where he talks about he likes working with the leftovers in film, all the parts that, you know, everybody thought were useless. But that's how I make some things too. I will make some, sometimes I'll make a recording and it just won't even be that much. Or it's I screwed up or something like that. There's a big... <laughs> buzzy sound or whatever in there. If I take that little segment or whatever, use it somewhere else. Save everything. It might come in handy later. And uh, on the art side, same thing too. You know, a lot of people talk about collage, working in collage. I've got stuff that could be collaged later on. It's not like I've got closets and warehouses full of that stuff, but you know. Rule seven. The only rule is work. <laughs> That's the main one, as you can see. I love at the end here. There, there should be new rules next week. <laughs> That's great. Love it. All right. That's it for today. Monday, March 10th, 2021. I'm Mark Rushton, markrushton.com. And uh, talk to you later.